Hello and welcome to another Inside Lane vlog where I am absolutely baking. I'm oh, dripping horrible. Um, it's 21 degrees outside in sunny Bournemouth today. I'm in the Fiat 500X and I've just finished the interior filming for, uh, for the review coming up. I think that's coming out on Wednesday? Wednesday, I want to say Wednesday. Um, so yeah, but obviously the downside is with all the microphone and the car wired for sound, I can't have a window open and I can't have the air conditioning on because you'll just get in the background and that's no good. So look out in the review for me trying not to look too uh, overwhelmed by the heat in here because it is an absolute oven. So what have we been up to this week? Well, we've been all over Europe with Mini actually, bit of Mini madness. So we're on the launch for the Clubman All Four, quite an exclusive launch. Not loads of journalists were invited on that. So that was a, a real privilege. Uh, we drove that from Germany into the La Netherlands and then down into Belgium to join the international Mini Meet. So the review for the All Four Clubman will be out later today. It's under embargo until 11 p.m. So it'll be out at 11 on the dot this evening if any of you are still up, or our international viewers, obviously. It may well be the middle of the day for you. Um, and then also, we did a little video on the International Mini Meet. Nothing too special. We just took the camera around to see what we could find. The link to that will be above my head. That was a really nice festival, actually, celebrating the Mini and the brand and... Uh, yeah, check it out for yourselves. It was, a, it was a great experience to have this road trip to uh, IMM. Um, and yeah, I really enjoyed it, actually. So going forward this week, obviously immediately after this, we'll be announcing the winner of our Ford Focus RS uh, competition. And uh, we are going to be... Oh, yes, sorry. On Friday, we are going to be releasing a Jaguar F-Pace review video. Um, which, oh dear, I'm, uh, if you're wondering why I'm in the petrol station, it's because uh, I'm going to jet wash this car because it's about to go on camera. Sorry, Jaguar F-Pace review will be out on Friday. We're driving that during the week. Um, a car that I'm quite excited to see what it's all about, basically. Um, lots of hype around the car, looks good. Jaguar on a real roll at the moment. So, uh, yeah, roll on Jag F-Pace review. Sorry, rambling, heat's getting to me. Um, oh yeah, that was a big thing. So whilst on the uh, Mini All 4 launch, I picked up a stone chip in the windscreen. Now that's nothing unusual, it happens from time to time. You know what motorways are like. But I jump back in the Fiat 500X and on my way home from the airport, I pick up a stone chip in the 500X, which has now developed into more of a massive crack across the windscreen. And unfortunately, I think Fiat are gonna have to replace the windscreen. I don't think there's really any way of repairing what's going on there at the moment and it's slowly spreading but it goes home tomorrow so it'll all be replaced ready for the next journalist to use the car uh, and coming tomorrow we've got actually a small Fiat 500 coming to replace this so it's a nice back-to-back -back comparison between the two big brother little brother sort of thing anyway I'm going on for too long so things you've got to look out for this week uh, tonight mini all four review uh, and Friday Jag F pace review uh, a few people have been asking about the um, secret Type R thing that's going on that I mentioned a few vlogs ago. I am waiting for clearance for when I can actually talk about that because it's all being kept very quiet at the moment. But it is totally worth the wait. So stay tuned and uh, I will catch you guys next week. Thanks very much for watching and let us know what you think in the comments below. Please subscribe for more on the latest and greatest cars to hit the road. For all of the latest automotive news, written reviews and coverage from motor shows, go to www.insidelane.co.uk.